2020, 2021 of the Weekly Time Capsule. I go by the name Mike Hustle. I'm Love Allure. Hey, family. And we're going to be our special guest host again for this week. Stay tuned. We got some interesting stories for y'all. All right, y'all. I think we got some real interesting stories coming up. One of them is about Kwame Brown, and they've been lighting the blouse. Ooh, what you, what you, what oh, else man, we got? For real. Obama cut somebody out, y'all, bro. What else we, we, we got? got the NBA Hall of Fame. Okay. NBA Hall of Fame. Yeah. Oh, what else we got? Rod Wave. We got some interesting news on Rod Wave. You know what I'm talking about? Oh, Meek Mill out of his contract. Yeah, we got to talk about that. Oh, yes, yes. Go, yes. Let's yeah. get it. All right. Let's get into the first story. Mm-hmm. NBA bust Kwame Brown goes viral after critics bash him in multiple social media feuds. I've been seeing it. It's been crazy, y'all. He's been going in talking about everybody. What's going on with that? If y'all don't know who Kwame Brown is, Kwame Brown was Michael Jordan's first pick of his, I guess, when he started the ownership for the For Wizards. the draft? For the Wizards uh, back in, what, 2002, three, something like that, four? I believe so. Correct me if I'm wrong. Yeah, so he was a, really a bust, though. You know, anybody who... is drafted by Michael Jordan going to be a bust, bro. You ain't a Hall of Fame player, though. But you got guys like Steven Jackson... Stephen A. Smith, you got Matt Barnes that's been eating him alive on social media lately. Yes, though. Let's check this out. Yes, indeed. Just an angry look. And so he's always aggressive and stupid. You don't know how to respect a man in his face. Never said nothing to you all about you. So to go that far and tap and do all that little girl, who raised you big food out of another man's mouth? Who raised you little Stephen A. Minion that be so girly and... <laughs> <laughs> and, and how to look at you show. I thank you, little girl, for the platform. I needed something to talk about. And you, little girl, is at the top. And I hope I offend one of you two. Or three. And just keep it a man. Because all of you know me. <laughs> but yeah, so Kwame Brown just started going back at the boy, bro. He got tired of all y'all bash his name, bro. Man, then got drafted number one overall. Yeah, he ain't live up to his hype. But him, man, and bought his mama a house, then took care of his whole family and everything. Man, y'all get out, Kwame Brown, bro. That's a lot more than a lot of people can say, oh, honestly. Man. So, but Matt Barnes did set him up, though. I'm not really into oh, yeah, basketball you know like that, but he was like, you would disappoint. <laughs> He I mean, was like, you were disappointed. I believe mean, he could have put the work in to become, you know, yeah, the a greatest. Star player, though, yeah. but, you know, there's nothing you can do when you just ain't, you know, uh, skill driven. You feel me? Right. But, Let's get into this next story, y'all. Oh, yeah. Obama done cut somebody out. Let me see what he's talking about. Oh, it says Obama was peeved at being called aloof by reporters and Bennett M. Elf's. I'm aloof with you because I don't want to talk to you. A forthcoming book says, wow, I got to hear this. I did not see that at all, but I would pay to hear Obama curse because I know he get down. My boy smoking everything, so you know he got a mouth on him. I don't know. I know he got some stuff on his mind because he been holding it for a long time. For a long time. Obama, man, the man trying to cheer and live his life. He ain't got to talk to none of y'all. I feel that though. What else we got going on? Hey, here's the hip hop skinny in the rap world, man. Okay. We got some news on Rod Wave, bro. They say Rod Wave was arrested for a pellet gun, not a real gun that he rapped about. <laughs> what you think about this? I don't know, you know. Let's look into the story. <laughs> Rod Wave has been exposed and clowned on social media for what fans call rap capping. Or cap rapping is what you should say. It's very common nowadays. They're clowning him for his hard on ice burst where he claims to be in jail for something serious. While in the cell with Lil' Keem, I slapped him. I told him. I had told him I don't know how to get down with them clowns, but I'm a soldier. Could be a pillar gun soldier. I don't know. I don't know why. I don't know why I wave like that. He might did get caught with a pillar gun. He might have had a real gun at home. You know what I'm saying? Different times, caught for different situations and different measures. You know who knows? He might have had some things to do after school with the pillar gun. You know what I'm saying? You know. I know he got a real gun now though. I bet you that. <laughs> Well, people are really going in on him on social media about this because, you know, when you rap about certain content, they expect you to be about it. And if they pull up your records and they see that you got uh, arrested for a BB gun, then I guess your cloud or whatever goes out the window. Know, know, you know what I'm saying? The court of public opinion, you know what I'm saying? They're going to always have something to say. Right. So, you know, shout out to Rod Wade, man. Keep making music, Rod man. Wade. Don't stop nothing. We love you still. I just hope, I hope you ain't. 
Can't BB gun out. and all. I hope, you know, they will take the school down. <laughs> what we got next, Mike? Meek Mill wants out of his contract. It was revealed last week that Meek Mill denied his label boss Rick Ross a section and his VIP table at Club Live in Miami for his birthday party. Now, the beef is real. We hear that at the point that Meek Mill does not want nobody on his team talking to Rick Ross right now. Mm. He got to be deep in this. He I wonder what happened. Man, probably money, man. You know what I'm saying? Probably you know? us, us not releasing some um, tracks or something like that, oh, not man. allowing him to who release knows, the album. Man, who knows? Who knows? When's the last time he released something? Do you listen to Meek Mill? Like Meek Mill. He dropped something what, a couple years ago. You know what I'm saying? He's still living off that. It's still, mm. it's still jamming, though. You know what I'm talking about? Okay, okay. I'm doing a NTF album as soon as I'm out my deal. Oh, mm. NTF. That's popular nowadays. Hey, What's that? NTF. It's one of them, uh, like, I guess, investment things. So I guess it's going to be very limited. So I guess, uh, you know, people who buy it can actually increase in value if you have a copy of the NTF. For my understanding, I could be wrong. Don't judge me. <laughs> if you're watching with us right now, make sure that you like, share, comment, and subscribe to our channel for more updates. What Please. else we got next? Let's go. Kobe Bryant, Tim Duncan, and Kevin Garnett among nine enshrined to the NBA Hall of Fame. Man, we getting old, brother. The players that we grew up watching is going to the Hall of right. Fame. Right. Well, time go by so fast. It does. Mm -mm. Well deserved. Who right. all they got listed? Kobe Bryant is now in the Hall of Fame, along with colleagues Tim Duncan and Kevin Garnett. Headliners of a group of nine who got their delayed and long way to shrine into the Hall of Fame of the 2020 class. Well, but Kobe must have stopped it from last year or something like that happening. But it's all good, though. Shout out to them mm -hmm. more. Rest in peace, Kobe. Say it. What you guys think about this at home? I wish I would have seen Kobe Bryant had his speech, though, because you know he would have talked some mm -hmm. noise. Really. Yeah. All know, right, guys. You hear Kobe, you know what I'm talking about, with a uh, Jordan speech, and he always tried to outdo Jordan, so you know he's going to talk some noise. Because they, they talking about Kobe, man. He's still just Kobe, man. Really. Well, he's definitely a legend, and it's well deserved. Yeah, so. sure. What else do we have next for the people? Anything else? That's it right there for the store. That's it for the day. All right, guys, let us know what you think about this in the comments. If you have any additional details about these stories, let us know because we definitely want to know what's going on. Definitely. If you got any news that you might know about that you might want to see us talk about, let us know. All right, guys, it's been a great first episode of season three of the Weekly Time Capsule, week 20. Make sure you guys subscribe, like, share, and comment, and we'll see you guys again soon. All right, peace. <laughs>
Orange Recording Studio in Jackson, Mississippi, 4652 McWillie Drive, Jackson's Industry Recording Studio. We also offer online mixing mastering and all of the studio needs. Visit 16boardsrecording.webs.com. Once again, 16boardsrecording.webs.com. 16 Boards Recording Studio. You can also contact us at 601-622-2922. Located in Jackson, Mississippi, 4652 McWillie Drive. Your number one industry standard recording studio, 16 Bars. Offering quality recording, mixing, mastering, editing, music production, live bands, voiceovers, and more. Contact us today. Block rates available. Also visit on Instagram at 16 Bar Studio. Call KJ at 601-622-2922. Book your session today.